Angels and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today I am going to be showing you guys my winter skincare. It has been a highly requested video which is why I'm here to show you guys all the products that I've been loving not only recently or for the past year or so but even from when I was very 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 young because a lot of these products I have been using for over 10 years. Um, so yeah I wanted to share all of this with you. I am so excited to share my winter skincare with you guys but there is one really important message that I would like to say to you all. On YouTube, depending on what lens you're using, depending on what lighting you have, people's skin can look insanely flawless. I am going to include some clips of my skin close up so you can see what it's like in real life. I don't want you guys to think that I have perfect skin because I feel like I do not have perfect skin. And because of my lighting and my camera lens, I don't want you guys to think that I have this like perfectly flawless skin or that I'm even lying to you about my skin. Because my skin is normal. I get breakouts. I have fine lines. I have lumps and bumps all over my skin. I even have fine hairs on my skin. And in this video, I want to show you guys my skincare routine and the products that I love using because they really work for me and I'm hoping that some of them would also work for you as well. So with that being said, I also do want to let you guys know that in this video I am not wearing any makeup apart from my eyebrows are filled in because I feel naked without them not being filled in. I've got some mascara on my eyelashes and a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. But other than that, I have no makeup on because I want you guys to view this video with my skin as it is. So yeah, now that all of that has been said, I'm going to get straight onto this video. So the first thing that I do when I wake up is I cleanse my skin. In the mornings, I generally just want to get ready really quickly. I don't want to have too much faff. I try and keep my morning skincare routine as simple as possible. Because I've already done my nighttime skincare routine the night before, I feel like I don't really need to do too much to my skin. Whenever I do any cleansing, I love doing it in the shower. The cleanser that I like to use in the morning which is an oil cleanser is this chamomile cleansing oil and as you can see there is not much left in here. It is oil based so it's great for the winter months but I do kind of use this all year round but I just love using this to give my skin that quick cleanse that it needs in the morning and sometimes I do go in and cleanse with my Foreo so this is like a little vibrating little like it feels so good it's like a vibrating facial massage and you can use this with any cleanser you want so I do sometimes use it with my Foreo but that generally depends on how much time I have in the morning but I like to go in with a quick cleanse I use about two pumps of this for my whole entire face so once I finish cleansing in the shower I also exfoliate now I'm really funny with my exfoliating I like to exfoliate quite often but I like to use a very gentle exfoliator and the exfoliator that I've been obsessed over for quite a while now is the Liz L gentle face exfoliator. When it says it's a gentle face exfoliator, it really is gentle. It basically feels like a cream exfoliator so it's very very soft on the skin and it really does exfoliate your kind of dead skin cells off and I absolutely love this because it is very creamy perfect for the winter months because your skin generally does need a little bit extra moisture during the colder months but I absolutely love this I feel like it does wonders for my skin I think it's brilliant because it is so gentle you can get away with using it as often as you need to. So I absolutely love this. If there are any times where my skin needs a little bit more of an exfoliation, like especially in the winter months, when my skin is feeling a little bit dry and I just need to give it that extra kind of oomph, I do go in with another cleanser. And the one that I've been loving recently is this Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I wouldn't necessarily use it as a cleanser, I would use it as an exfoliator, but this is really good because it's got a lot of fine little exfoliating beads in there. I don't really like rubbing this all over my face, but I do like to concentrate this on the areas where I feel like I do need to get rid of any dead skin cells. So that's usually like around my nose, on my chin, and also a little bit kind of just above my eyebrows. But this is fab for when I want that a little bit extra oomph for my skin, but I don't use this that often. When it comes to exfoliating, it is generally the gentle face exfoliator or nothing, because I absolutely love it. So cleansing and exfoliating are the two steps that I do in the shower and then once I get out again I want to make sure that my skincare routine is quick and easy and fuss free. So the toner that I like to go in with is the Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. The reason why I feel like this is the perfect toner in the mornings is because it is a spray so you literally just spray this on your skin and it is very cooling and I feel like if I do have any redness this does definitely bring it down and I also love the smell of it and you get 
200 mils in this, which is huge. I just love that this cuts out the fact that I don't need to put anything on a cotton pad or anything like that. It is just to the point and I can quickly spritz about three or four sprays onto my face and my toning is done. What I like to go in with next is my eye cream and the eye cream that I've been using for a while now is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. I feel like this has reduced any kind of darkness that I used to have underneath my eyes quite a lot but you do have to use this quite regularly to see any sort of effect but I feel like this is the perfect daytime eye cream because it's quite light but it still does give you that moisture that you need underneath your eyes because that area is very delicate you want to make sure that it's nice and hydrated I feel like this seeps into my skin really well as well I don't really like products which sit on my skin I like them to kind of be soaked up into my skin if that makes sense but I've been really liking this um, I did throw away the top part of it which is annoying because the product goes all in the lid um, but I really like this for daytime because it's the perfect kind of thickness and consistency for me. So once my eye cream's all done I go in with my serum and the serum I use is this original skin serum. I really like this again because it's very lightweight and it's almost like in between a gel and a cream. It's very, very, very light. In the morning, I like to make my skin feel not too heavy with loads of product, which is why I like to use quite light products, um, but still moisturizing at the same time, especially for the winter, because I wanna make sure that my skin is a nice and hydrated for the colder months, because we tend to lack a lot of water and it's always good to keep your skin nice and plump and moisturized because that's gonna make a huge difference for your skin throughout time. So once I'm done with my serum, I go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer that I love using for the winter is actually the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now this is so expensive, but it lasts for so long. I've not got much left in my pot, but I absolutely love this cream. Not only is it a brilliant moisturizer, but it also works really well as a base underneath your makeup makeup and it has an SPS of 50. SPF for me is so, so, so important. I wanna make sure that my skin is nice and safe from any kind of rays from the sun. Now, right now, outside is quite cloudy. The harmful sun rays are there whether it's cloudy or not. It's super important to make sure that your day cream or your foundation or your tinted moisturizer has some SPF and your skin is just gonna love you for it. And I absolutely love this. I know it's very, very expensive, um, but I feel like this moisturizer, since I've used it, I always go back to it every single winter. That in all is my skincare routine in the mornings. I do like to switch up my skincare routine every now and again, but generally speaking, the products that I like, I tend to use quite a lot, unless there's like a new eye cream out there or a new serum out there that I really want to introduce into my skincare routine. Um, but other than that, I like to keep it how it is because it works really well for my skin. So now it is time for nighttime skincare. So in the evenings, especially if I've worn makeup, I like to make sure that my skin gets a little bit of pampering and I always like to make sure that I take my makeup off. Now, this for me is a huge deal because I read or heard somewhere that if you fall asleep with makeup on your skin at night, it can age your skin by like three days or something ridiculous, which is crazy. So always try and make sure that you take your makeup off. So what I like to do in the evenings is I like to go in with a deep double cleanse, especially if I've worn makeup. If I haven't, then I'll just go with a single cleanse. And the cleanser that I like to use is the Cleanse and Polish. Um, so this is the Liz L Hot Cloth Cleanser. This I've actually been using on and off since I was like 16 so that would be 11 years ago which is crazy um but i absolutely love this i love the smell of it because it smells of eucalyptus and if you guys know me i love the eucalyptus scent two pumps of this on your skin literally melts away all your makeup it literally feels like a cream again it's perfect for the winter months because you feel like you're getting that extra kind of layer of moisturizer on your skin as well but it's taking all of your makeup off so i like to go in with a single cleanse if i haven't really worn makeup or a double cleanse if i have worn makeup and i use it with the muslin cloth that it comes with sometimes i will go in with my foreo depending on my mood if i have an extra few minutes then i will definitely go in with that and and I have done a video of some facial like exercises which I'll leave a link to it in the info box below um, because I do like to go in with certain steps when I'm cleansing my skin just to make sure that my face is getting the exercise that it needs because the muscles in your face don't really get worked out as much as like your arms and your legs so it's always good to make sure that you 
do you spend a little bit extra to try and massage your skin, whether it's certain areas that you want to concentrate on. I love giving myself a mini kind of facial when I'm cleansing in the evenings. And then I like to go in with my toner. The toner that I like to use is this Pixi Glow Tonic. Now my toner has totally changed color. It's supposed to be like a dark orange, but my house on this side is so, so sunny that I feel like it's changed the color of it. This is an exfoliating toner, so it helps remove any kind of dead skin cells or any kind of excess makeup that you might have left over from cleansing. And I really like this. So this one does take a little bit more time than the skin tonic that I use in the morning because you do have to put some of this on to a cotton pad and put it all over your face. I do like to use two cotton pads. I like to go over my skin one time very very quickly just so that it takes away any kind of excess makeup or any extra grime or anything that I may have on my eyes and my face and then I like to go in again just to make sure that everything is nice and toned and this is a really 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 good toner especially if you want an exfoliating toner because I don't like to exfoliate my skin at night because I've done it in the morning. I absolutely love this and I feel like I might need to get a new one because it has changed in colour. If I've worn really heavy makeup like fake lashes or loads of mascara or loads of eyeshadow, I will go in with an extra step just to make sure that my eyes aren't sore or they're not red or like puffy or anything like that. So what I do like to use for that is the Soothing Eye Bright Lotion. Um, this you basically twist up and you pour some product out onto a cotton pad. Um, you can actually leave this on your eyes for like five minutes and it kind of feels like, you know, when you put cucumber slices on your eyes and your eyes do water and all the excess kind of fluid and everything comes out. And that's what this basically does without having to faff around with cucumbers and things like that. It is very, very cool and soothing on the eyes. And I feel like you can definitely tell a difference when you just put this on your eyes, leave it there for about 30 seconds and then wipe away. Like I just feel like my eyes are brand new when I open them. They feel very, very refreshed. I only use this if I have worn heavy makeup or I feel like my eyes just need a little bit of TLC. For eye cream in the evening, I like to use something a little bit heavier, especially for the winter. And the one that I like to use is this Creme de la Mer, the Eye Balm Intense. So this is basically a balm for your eyes. It's very, very thick in consistency. But once you actually put this onto your under eyes, it is quite light and it gets soaked up into your skin very easily. This is very expensive for this little pot, but for the winter I definitely feel that my skin needs something like this, something with extra kind of moisture, um, just to make sure that my under eyes are nice and hydrated all night long, um, but I have really enjoyed using this. So at night I don't really use a serum, but I do love going in with a facial oil. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I love facial oils. I do have a handful of favourites, but the two that I'm currently loving are the Josie Moran 100% argan oil and also the Body Shop Oils of Life Oil and these two are just brilliant. This one is very, very, very lightweight. It gets soaked up into your skin so quickly, but it definitely does help moisturize your skin. Whereas this one is a little bit heavier. If I am feeling like my skin needs a little bit of a moisture boost, then I will definitely add this, but sometimes I'll mix these two together. Sometimes I'll even mix my Body Shop Serum in oil with these. Um, it all just depends really on my mood, but I absolutely love going to sleep with a facial oil on. I actually use these facial oils as a nighttime moisturizer as well. I don't really go in with a cream moisturizer at night just because I love the feel of an oil on my face and I just love like the things that it does to my skin. What I love about an oil is if I feel like I've got a slightly oilier kind of nose area or t-zone whenever I put an oil on it helps balance all the oil in my face so it will reduce kind of oiliness in certain areas where my skin doesn't need it and add moisture to the areas where it does. If you guys are wanting to dabble into like facial oils I would highly recommend to get some samples and try them out on your skin and just see the benefits of using them. I think it's one of the things that I've introduced into my skincare that I love the most. Last but not least at night I will also put a lip balm on and the one that I love using Using is the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. At night, I love to make sure that my lips are really nice and moisturized because in the morning the next day I will give them a quick scrub um, either using a muslin cloth or an old toothbrush or something like that just to get rid of any dead skin cells and I just love using something very very rich like this no matter what the season it is I do always go in with a lip balm and that is my skincare routine at night so now that you guys know my morning and evening skincare routine I wanted to also show you guys the products that I like to use when I want to give my skin a bit of a pamper and these are products that I'll use maybe once a week, sometimes 
once a fortnight. It all depends on my mood and what my skin is looking and feeling like. I wanted to show you guys two masks that I love. The first one is something that you guys have seen so many times on my channel and is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is probably the best mask I've ever used. I have tried others but I always, always, always go back to this. I feel like it really does help draw any impurities out of my skin and I can also use it as a spot treatment. So if I do end up getting like a spot on my chin or my forehead or whatever. I will actually put a dab of this mask on to any areas where I do have any spots and just go to sleep in them and wash them off the next day. And it really does help dry out any spots and it just does wonders for my skin. And I've actually been using this for like three or four years now and I absolutely love it. I've got so many people hooked on this in my family and they all say the same thing. It is life changing. So this is my favorite mask that I like to pamper myself with. Every now and again, I do try and use it once a week. Sometimes I'll use it more whenever I have any spots or anything like that on my face but absolutely love this mask. And recently I've been trying out another mask and that is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask and this actually smells like real pumpkins. Um, it even looks like pumpkin a little bit as well. <laughs> what this actually does is the pumpkin enzymes in this mask help exfoliate your skin and it really kind of polishes away your skin and makes it look really like smooth and really fresh. This is a little bit harsh on my skin so when I put a thin layer of this on I feel like my skin tingles like everywhere and you can almost like feel the enzymes like eating away at any kind of dead skin cells and because it is a little bit uncomfortable to wear I don't use it that often. I'll probably use it once every two weeks, depending on my skin again, but I've been really enjoying using this. Last but not least, if I have a special event coming up or if I'm going out somewhere nice, I will add an extra step into my skincare routine before I put on any makeup. So this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment and it's kind of like a serum, I wanna call it, but it helps brighten your skin and it also tightens your skin as well. I have got a little line on my forehead right here, which really annoys me, but whenever I put this on, it really really does help kind of fill that out. I haven't really paid much attention to how long it lasts for, but it really does help smooth my skin and it is just one of those like pampering products which make you feel really good inside. Um, but it is quite expensive so I don't use this very often and I definitely save this for special occasions and things like that. But you guys, that is the end of my winter skincare video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got an insight into the products that I love using on a day-to-day -day basis as well as pamper basis for my skin. Please leave comments below of what products you would recommend if you've got a specific skin type or anything like that and I love how you guys recommend products and leave your reviews in the comments below because it helps not only me but so many other people who are reading the comments out as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!